Let's learn how to embed fonts in a document using Foxit PDF. Now you can see here I do have a Word document open. It is not a PDF yet. And there is, right here on this line, a font that is not a normal or universally accepted font. If I go to the Home Ribbon, you can see it's Baja 93. So how do I embed that to make sure it renders in the PDF of all of my users? A couple of different ways. Firstly, let's use the Foxit printer. Let's go to the File Ribbon and Print. And you can see the Foxit PDF printer is here. It's ready. We're going to go into those printer properties. And here on the Settings tab, and let's bring this over, I'm going to edit the default settings. Along the left-hand frame, we have a font option. Notice what the default is to embed all fonts or embed just the non-standard or use the font embedding from this list below. So if I scroll down here, if I turn this on and scroll down, I could embed just the specific ones that I want. Now we're going to embed all fonts and we're going to say OK. And where do we want to print this? I'm going to put this on my desktop and I'm going to say print from Word and I am going to notice have an XML file option instead of a PDF option. So I actually am going to cancel that. I'm going to select Save As and again here. So once I've turned this on, all I need to do is say OK because that is going to affect the standard default settings. So let's go ahead and say OK and let's print this file. Now I am expecting, here we go, we're going to call it print with fonts and we're going to save that. Now I'm going to go in again and print it again. It's taking a moment here, oops, let's go back to Word. But this time, I'm going to go back into the standard and go to Fonts and say Don't Embed Any Fonts. And I'm just going to say OK to that. Now this is going to change the templates. So there's my new No Fonts option. I'm going to print this file again. We're just going to say my book with no fonts. Now let's go look at the size difference with fonts and without fonts. We'll go to our file explorer and there is the file with no fonts. It's only 3K and this is our file that's 3K with fonts. Now the file itself is only seven pages long so that didn't make a large difference. If I get the document in PDF form and I don't have those options through Word and printing to Foxit. Once the document arrives here, how do I handle embedding fonts? Now you can see here my book No Fonts is currently open. Let's go to the File tab or menu and go to the properties of this document and we have a font option in the middle. And you can see here these are the fonts that are in the document but they are not embedded. So then how do I go about embedding the fonts? Let's step down to the PDF Optimizer. Once we arrive here, let's go to Advanced Optimization and Unembedded Fonts. Notice nothing is here. It does not pick up any fonts because we didn't embed them in the original one. So we're going to cancel that and we're going to go back to this one with the fonts embedded. Let's go back to our file, back to the optimizer, back to our advanced optimization and unembedded fonts. Do not unembed fonts. So if this actually had 
fonts in it, I could select the embedded ones and choose to remove them. Now I'm not going to save this. I'm just going to cancel out of there. So let's go back to the file with no fonts in it. And again we did see it does detect that there are fonts within this document. Let's verify again. Let's go to the File tab and Properties and Fonts. It does see the fonts. Is there another way to guarantee that they are embedded? And the answer with Foxit is yes. Let's go to the Convert option across the top and then the Preflight. We're going to use the little fix up here and we're going to search for font. As you can see I've already done that. And notice our choices. Embed missing fonts and substitute similar fonts for visible text or embed missing fonts. Only for visible text current and embedded or fix font encoding and a couple of others. We're going to choose the first one. It gives us an explanation down below and we're going to fix that. We're going to change this name and in the background you can see it is applying that fix up. Now my Foxit PDF has just hung up for a moment. I'm going to pause till I get, uh, get it back. And now it does give us a little report and it says it's been done. I could create a report. I'm not going to. Let's verify that those... Oh, that's a little odd. Let's verify that that particular document now has fonts embedded. And notice beside each of my fonts it says embedded subset. And let's go back home. Let's close all of these and verify that they all can be read. So this is the one we just worked with and it is all good to go. And that's how we embed fonts in our Foxit PDF.